and behavior. Okay, so anyways, uh, <laughs> your book calls this the leading coefficient test, which I think is kind of a weird name for it, but I like to call it end behavior. What the heck does end behavior mean anyways? All right, I want you guys to think about these different graphs, okay? Um, let me draw some graphs. I got to thicken up this marker right here. Here's a graph. Uh, it's going to go like this. Um, we, okay. Uh, here's another graph. It's going to go like this. Uh, we, okay. These are all polynomial functions. Here's another one. Um, we're going to go, yeah. And then the other one we're going to do, we're going to do some more squigglies, yeah. Let's go, yeah, whoa, oh yeah. Oh, I did it wrong, dang it. Okay, let's go down this way. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Uh, kind of, we'll see. All right, uh, anyways, end behavior. What the heck is end behavior? The end behavior is this, and it's this, and it's this. It's this and it's this, okay? It's where the arrows are pointing on the left and the right-hand side of the graph, okay? So uh, call your attention to this one, guys. On the left side of the graph, uh, where is the arrow pointing? On the left side of this graph, we are pointing down, okay? On the right side of the graph, we are pointing up, okay? Now, I'm going to write the academic way for describing end behavior. Uh, the academic way in mathematics is not saying, oh, the left side of the graph, oh, the right side of the graph. It's kind of annoying. I know you're going to be annoyed. Instead of saying left side of the graph, we're going to say uh, as x approaches negative infinity. Why does it say that? Because on the left side of the graph, that's where the x's are approaching. The x's are going to negative infinity. If I was talking about the right side of the graph, I would say as x approaches what, 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 what? Positive infinity. That is because... Um, on the right side of the graph, the x values are approaching positive infinity. Okay, uh, so that this these are, these are the this these are the x axes, right? And here is their f of x axis, or you can call that the y axis. It doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, on our left side of the graph, which way is the arrow pointing? Where is f of x going to? Um, if you said up, you are correct. But uh, academically, we're not going to say up. Can you guys guess what we're going to say instead of up? Positive. We're going to say positive infinity. So this means up. So on the right side of the graph, where is f of x going towards? That one is also going to positive infinity because it's going up. Okay, so uh, I just wrote that for you guys. I want you guys to write the end behavior for each of these. All right, so um, it looks like this is simple for you guys. Maybe, maybe. Um, now, for every graph, there's a left and a right-hand side, okay? So you should always have x approaches negative infinity and x approaches infinity for every single one of them. Okay, what changes is uh, what the y's are doing, what the f of x's are doing. So on the left side of this graph, we're going towards negative infinity. On the right side, we're going to positive infinity because we're going up. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry, sorry. I've zoomed in on the wrong one on my iPad. Okay, so we got uh, pod negative infinity and then positive infinity. And then uh, for this bottom one, the left side of the graph is going to positive infinity and the right side of the graph is going towards negative infinity. That means down. Right side is going down, left side is going up. Now this one, let's see, left side is down, right side is down. So I'm just going to say negative infinity, negative infinity for both of those. And that is your end behavior. Uh, now what you need to know about end behavior is that what, ha what is happening in the middle doesn't matter. Okay, so if I erase everything that's happening in the middle, you just see that our arrows, the end behavior. Okay, uh, let's erase uh, the last one. Okay, um, yeah, you go away. All right, so the end behavior is only the arrows. And so the way I like to write it, uh, the way I like to remember it is using a table. Uh, but before we create this table, we have to talk about what all these have in common. Now, um, there's relationships here between these graphs. Can you guys find some of those relationships with your neighbors? Go. I hope that you guys said, hey, these guys right here are related. And these guys right here are related. Why are those related? This guy, the arrows are pointing the same direction and same with this one. And this one, they're pointing opposite directions. Okay, and this is why they are different. These are odd polynomial functions and these are even polynomial functions. How do you know if they're odd or even? 
you know if they're odd or even just by looking at the degree of the polynomial. Do you guys remember what a degree is? A degree, degree is the highest exponent to these polynomials. Uh, this polynomial function right here, I wrote it um, y equals x to the fifth minus 3x plus 10. What is the highest, or what is the degree of this polynomial? The degree is the highest exponent. What is the degree? Five. It's 5. Because it's 5, we know it's going to be um, an odd end behavior problem. You guys see that? Okay. Uh, I should say odd degree and even degree because I don't want this confused with odd functions and even functions. Remember how we did odd function and even function tests yeah. for symmetry and stuff? So this is odd, odd poly, polynomials or odd degree and even degree. Okay, is this one an odd or even degree? Even. That was even. Okay, so just by looking at this right now, I can tell you what the end behavior is for each of these. The end behavior for this one is going to be this this uh, graph. How come it's not this one? Because this one is for positive leading coefficients. So I'm going to write a positive LC. This one down here is for negative LC. Okay, a negative leading coefficient. The leading coefficient here is positive 1. It is the 1 right in front of this x to the fifth. Um, so uh, let's actually change this next one. Let's put a negative right here. So uh, because this is even, I'm going to choose one of these. Which one is it going to be? Is it going to be up, up, or is it going to be down, down? It's going to be down, down. Why? Because you guys are following my pattern right here. Uh, LC, the leading coefficient here is for positive, and this is for when the leading coefficient is negative. So let's sum it up. This is the table that I uh, get to students who are neophytes. All right. <clears throat> okay, if uh, we'll call this uh, uh, the degree and this will call the LC. LC stands for leading coefficient. So the degree is either even or it is odd. The leading coefficient is either positive or it is negative. Okay, so if we're even, then it's going to be up, up. If it is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to be down up. I always think of like an N. An N is what I think about when I think about odd N behaviors. And a, a, a right side up N would give you down then up. An even with a negative is going to be down down. And then uh, an even or odd with a, a negative is going to be the opposite, up down. So those are your... Um, and behaviors.